So today, we're going to talk about the absolute worst sugar alcohol. Now, the first thing you need to know is that sugar alcohols are not alcohol. It has nothing to do with alcohol. So that's one thing. They're basically low calorie sweeteners um, that don't get totally absorbed. There's something called the glycemic index, uh, which basically is things that you consume that spike the blood sugar. The higher on the scale, the worse the spike in blood sugar. The lower on the scale, the less the effect on blood sugars. Okay, so we want a zero effect, if possible, on the glycemic index as being a good sweetener. Erythritol will give you a zero effect. Okay, so it has, uh, it does not spike your blood sugars at all. Some people have a lot of bloating. Sometimes people don't like this because it's very cold. It gives a really cold um, sensation, but it's in use in a lot of different things. Okay, xylitol is 13. So that's pretty low. That's the one I like. Um, so it, it's not zero. It has a slight effect. If you're having just a small amount, it's going to be okay. But just make sure that anytime you're doing these, it's a uh, organic or non-GMO um, product. Sorbitol is nine. That's pretty low. Isomalt, nine. Lactitol, six. And mannitol is zero. Um, certain doctors use this for glaucoma. They will inject you to actually help intracranial pressure as well. Um, I don't actually recommend this one, even though it's zero. Uh, but the worst one is maltitol. It has a glycemic index of 52. I mean, table sugar is 62 or 63. So this is crazy high. So this is going to spike your blood sugars big time. So maltitol is the one that you want to avoid. And also there's a bunch of other ones that I didn't list as well, but I'm just kind of giving the basic ones. And of course, I'm assuming you already know to avoid the artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which comes as equal or NutraSweet, or saccharin, which is sweet and low, or sucralose, which is Splenda. So I'm assuming, you know, you already know that these are not very good. They create problems with your uh, microbiome, your um, microbes, your friendly bacteria in your gut. Um, they create fluid retention. Um, they're linked to insulin resistance, a lot of other issues. Stevia is a really good sweetener. Monk fruit is good. Uh, inulin is a fiber. A lot of people are using that. Sometimes you might get too bloated if you have too much. So it's always a balance of trying to find a sweetener that is very similar to sugar, that doesn't have an aftertaste, okay, that doesn't affect the blood sugars, but then doesn't give you the bloating, the gas, and the diarrhea. So different people react differently with different sweeteners. Um, so you just have to test it out and see what works good for you. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, so there's a whole bunch of people that really need this information. So press the share button and let's get it way out there.